Ever wondered how you can use our WebXR feature to create spatial websites? Well, then this video is just for you! In this tutorial, we're going to build a simple website using our sandbox scene that you can also view in AR and VR using the Engine. I already set up a scene in Unity with our sandbox sample. You can find it by opening the Nila Welcome window and clicking Create New Scene with Template. But you can do this with any sample you'd like, or maybe you've already built something yourself that you want to experience in WebXR. Usually, our sandbox scene is already WebXR ready, but for the sake of this video, I've removed the XR component. First of all, we're going to create an empty game object and name it XR. Then we're going to add the WebXR component to it. And that's actually all you need to make your project WebXR ready. So quick and easy, isn't it? Now let's test whether everything works properly and press play. As you can see, it works perfectly fine in our browser. Now let's try it out in AR. Click the QR code button and scan it with your mobile device. Now that the website is open on your phone, click Enter AR. Place your scene by tapping on the screen on a fitting spot in your surroundings. I can view my scene from all angles and interact with it. Awesome! Now let's see whether we can also view it in VR. We're going to open our sample scene again and click Open on Quest. It directs us to the MetaQuest website. Note that you have to be logged in into your account and that your quest has to be connected to this account. Now click Open. When putting on our quest, we see the quest browser popping up, showing us our website. Now click Enter VR. It's working! I am fully immersed in an interactive scene that was just a simple Unity project a few moments ago. So awesome, right? If you want to know how to deploy your WebPixar project to the web and make it accessible for everyone else, watch one of our tutorial videos on that topic. So what are you going to build with Needle Engine using WebPixar? Let us know in the comments below. To learn more about Needle Engine, visit our website under needle.tools.